please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What is up, Jupiter? I'm Jason Dobular. And I'm Kirsten Fisher. And we have your JHS student news for Wednesday, January 12th, 2022. How are you doing today, Fish? I'm good. How are you, Jason? I'm doing good. Let's get right into this news. Interact Club meeting is Thursday, January 13th, after school in Portable 30. Start considering officer elections coming in April. Letters for Rose. Come to the, ch to the club's fifth meeting. If you're not already a part of the club, it's not too late to join. LFR aims to reduce loneliness among elders during COVID-19 by creating and distributing personalized letters to local nursing homes. One hour of community service will be given per letter you write. Don't miss out on some great community service opportunities for a good cause. Our next meeting is after school on Thursday, January 13th in Miss Ellis' room 4118. Google Classroom code is 64R6BWI. For more details and text at 77G7FEE -E to 81010 for updates. The After School E2020 Credit Recovery Lab is officially open for the second semester. The hours are Mondays and Wednesdays 3 to 5 and Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 8. JHS Black Student Union's next meeting is Thursday after school in Ms. Carl's room 5211. The Google Classroom code is 6B53WDZ and the Remind code is BSU5211. Women's Soccer. Soccer sen Senior Night is tonight at 7.30. The varsity team is currently four wins, one loss, and four ties heading into play Martin County High School, who is undefeated with four wins and six ties. You mean six wins and four ties. Yes, that is what I meant. A little dyslexic moment from Fish over here. That's my bad. That, <laughs> come out and support women's soccer and their seniors. Spring sports. Anyone seeking to try out for a spring sport this year needs to check the athletic social media or the head coach of your sport if you've not already done so. Packets must be t completed, turned in, and cleared by Ms. Jom's office before you are eligible to try out. Any questions, please check the athletics link tree or email Ms. Jom. Tennis, the first day of tryouts is Tuesday, January 18th. We do not have school next Monday, the 17th, due to Martin Luther King Day. Questions, email john.babcock at palmbeachschools.org or kathy.lang at palmbeachschools.org. JHS baseball tryouts, there is a mandatory players meeting for anyone who wants to try out for baseball on Tuesday, January 18th at 3 p.m. in room 6215. Players must attend this meeting for the tryouts on Monday, January 24th at Doug Ferguson Field. Check in at 315. Bring all necessary baseball equipment that will be needed for the tryouts. Athletic packets must be fully completed correctly and are due today to Coach Mook in room 6215. Fun fact, I actually used to play t-ball, Kirsten. Oh, you did? It's true. I did when I was very little. Boys Volleyball. There will be a Boys Volleyball meeting on Thursday, January 13th in room 1157 in the Media Center. Anyone interested in trying out? Please attend. Now that you think of it, I actually used to play softball. Really? Up until fifth grade. Wow, that is crazy. I actually went all the way to kids pitch. And then I mm. kept getting hit by the ball. <laughs> and that's not a joke I'm making up for the announcement. I kept getting hit by the ball, but that's a story for another day. I'm so sorry. I'll tell, I'll tell that another day. I seriously kept getting hit by the ball. Once I got hit by the ball, I had to go to the dugout. And guess what happened? The ball somehow ended up in the dugout. And I got hit by the ball again. And that's when I was like, okay, base, en enough baseball for me. But go you Jupiter Baseball Warriors for carrying on no matter how many times you get hit by the ball. You're better than me. Attention, hey, that's you, Jason. That's me, Kirsten. That's you. Attention, seniors. Grab Bash will take place on Friday, April 1st at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. That is not an April Fool's joke. Please make sure you pay attention to all announcements. This is for seniors, like Jason only. Me only. Don't listen no if you're not a no, no Addison. Kirsten. No Addison. No Paige either. Paige is a sophomore. There will be a required meeting for anyone wanting to attend Grad Bash on Tuesday, January 18th in the auditorium. This meeting will take place during the 7th period block beginning at 12.51 p.m. Please plan to be present. The paperwork for Grad Bash will be given out at that time and then the first 150 people to sign up and turn in their completed paperwork will be the first ones to go. It would be an awesome April Fool's if we just put all the seniors on a bus and brought them to Orlando, just <laughs> dropped them off there and Universal was like, no, you need tickets. That would be terrible. 
No, that but would be epic. It's, it's senior prank, but on the seniors. Scholarships for seniors. That's still you. That's still me, Kirsten. The John C. Gibba Student Leadership Awards Program, the Carrie Stamp Scholars Fund, and the Chamber Foundation Scholarship will select a minimum of seven recipients to receive awards, amounts ranging from $1,500 to $10,000. For more information on these opportunities and much more, please visit the Jupiter High School Scholarship Bulletin on the Jupiter High School website under the Counseling slash Guidance tab. That is a long link. That is a long link. We're just going to skip right past that. Beautiful. The National Technical Honor Society induction ceremony is today from 6 to 7 p.m. in the JHS Auditorium, and I don't know why my ear just started ringing. Really? Yeah, you might did. have early onset tinnitus. That would be terrible. It could happen. But you know what isn't terrible? The birthdays for today. Happy birthday to Ashlyn Baresi, Dylan Batista, Juan Cajade, Harrison Dale, Grant Davis, Ryan DeWolf, Emma Evangelista Cruz, Tobias Rosemeyer, and Ricardo Williams. I hope you all have a very happy birthday, and I hope none of you have tinnitus like fish. <laughs> That's all the news we have for you today, Jupiter. It's been some great announcements today, Jason. It's been some good I mean, news. It, the month of January is looking very great The right month now. of January is looking absolutely phenomenal. One could argue one of the best months of the year. Yeah. That's all the news we have for today. Have a great day, Warriors. And have your best month we've had so far. Yeah.